If you're looking for the best sports memorabilia and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you're about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs mystery box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football theme break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, every Live Break spot you purchase automatically earns you 6% back in UA cash that you can later exchange for a mystery box or a signed item of your choosing. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tell them, boys. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. I'm Common here with Steven. Got a big show today. Looking forward to a fun day. Let me take the randomizer off the screen. I was so excited to get rolling. I had that up first. But Steven, huge show today. We have seven different things on our side, I believe. Uh, the big one is the Brady Authentic Helmets. We have some breaking news into the break room. And that news, Stephen, is that the Brady Helmets are going to be done on our New Year's, excuse me, not New, Year, New Year's Eve show, on our Christmas Eve show. So we have 39 boxes left after we do this first break. After, after Christmas Eve, no more Brady Helmets, no more Brady Heads. So if you want to, if you want to get that Brady Helmet, you got to, you got to play. You got to play. It's going back into inventory if we don't sell it by Christmas. Uh, and the Brady head, the, the drawing for a Brady item, which is on New Year's Eve. We have, on Christmas Eve, excuse me, we have two Brady heads left. We're going to do that drawing whether we get those two Brady heads or not. Uh, so, so just raising the odds for someone else. Raising the odds. So uh, let's, let's do the Brady helmets. Let's get rolling on those. Uh, absolute sick list of headliners. The reason I had the randomizer up is actually... I was looking at the headliners, wanted to show people what we have in this Brady series. We've got uh, Tom Brady on the Lunar, Marshall Falk, Speed Lunar. We have DK Metcalf, Speed Lunar, John Riggins, Dan Marino, Eclipse, Barry Sanders, and Devontae Adams, Camo. Uh, that, the only headliner we've pulled is the Sean Alexander. So a lot of good stuff still to go uh, in that series. Uh, so let's get rolling. Uh, let's do our dice roll. We need six or higher to play. Here we go. Let's roll that dice. How about a nine? Nine works. Nine is our dice roll today. What's up? What's up? 
one shot one shot how are you doing today nines are dice roll let's see what our chase item of the day is play that music Here we go. All right. Brady Helmets is our chase item of the day, too. So that works out. We know we're going to have one because we've already pulled. We've done one break. So we're going to have an advent calendar pull tonight uh, or double the UA cash. Josh or the Shadow Ghost. All right, Josh, the Shadow Ghost. Glad to have you in here, Mr. Shadow Ghost yourself. Take the randomizer off. Steven, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Common. I feel like I'm in a championship game. All right. Well, I think you are in fantasy, aren't that you? This is a fact. Awesome. Well, hey, Brady Helmets number one, Michael Walker, Colton Bicker, Robert Anderson, Catherine Warren, Christian Duda, and Bob Boulay. If you guys can get us a box number for a Brady Helmets number one, uh, we are going to do this thing. That would have been news yesterday, Common, but, you know, there are some formalities that had to occur. Tuesday night football. Tuesday night football. What's up, Nestor? How are you doing? Nestor's got Thursday night football this week. Uh, his 49ers are taking on the Titans. Uh, you're going to have to put the link in the chat. Oh, no, it's YouTube. I can do it. Link in the chat for the breaks. For the breaks. That's very easy. Here you go, sir. A box of tissue with our Brady stuff. We can do it. Yes, yeah, sir. Must win, says Nestor. Nestor is looking for that win for his 49ers. Michael Walker, Colton Bicker, Robert Anderson, Catherine Warren, 16, Bob Boulay. All right, Bob, 16 is going off the ticker, and we are going to do the first Brady Authentic. Sweet. 16. Let me get that for you. Must win, must win. It's that time of the season, Stephen. A lot of must wins for those playoff contenders. True. Our Dutch item, by the way, I'm so pumped for our Dutch item. One of my favorite all-time players, my fullback in Madden, Mike Allstott, six-time Pro Bowler, 949 rush yards in 1999, 10 rush touchdowns in 2001, Super Bowl champion. This guy might be a future Hall of Famer. Mike Allstott on the Replica Eclipse. Just a many, many, many issue up top here. Got a scratch on the top of the helmet. You can barely see it. That that black thing right there, that's about it. Uh, so that's up on the site. We'll get ready to go with our first break. We'll talk more about the Dutchie as we go on throughout the show. All right, we're going to randomize everyone in here for their divisions in the Brady. All right, we'll put the randomizer back up. Let's do this thing nine times on the dice roll today. Jakeem is working on some material like Bob. He asks, why is a shovel so famous? Any guesses, Steven? Everyone digs it, says Legit Podcasts. I like that. That's about, that, that would be my best guess right there. There I you go. I agree with him. We'll go with that. All right. Throwing you folks into your list. We've got Catherine Warren in the NFC North, Christian Duda in the NFC South, Michael Walker out in the NFC East, uh, Bob Boulay in the AFC North, Christian Duda also has the NFC West, by the way. Didn't mean to skip you there. Colton in the AFC South and AFC West, and Robert Anderson has the AFC East. Robert Anderson, the Patriots fan, Tom Brady in that division. Jake, I have some bad news for you. The primetime helmet has been pulled in the New Year's Eve series. I believe that's the only headliner gone in that series. That's the first headliner we pulled in that series. Uh, that was Monday night. Uh, otherwise, the New Year's Eve series, I think all those headliner, headliners are still out there. Boy, this box is, is, is rough. Of course it was. It happens. It was a groundbreaking invention is the answer. Oh, all right. That's a good one, too. Respect that. Good way to start the Brady helmets. This man played Tom Brady in a Super Bowl. 
and like most lost this is donovan mcnab donovan mcnab on the full size authentic eagles great quarterback played in four nfc championships made several pro bowls great touchdown to interception ratio guy he was a good runner he was a good passer donovan mcnab full size authentic as are all the helmets in the brady series mr mcnab is an nfc east hit Stephen, all it takes is one to play michael walker single spot snipe great start to the day mr walker donovan mcnab very nice hit. great hit great series hardly a bad hit in this series Stephen. you know this you were in here with me sunday we pulled some magic magic in that series was it chris johnson we pulled uh we had what we also had justin jefferson neither of, neither of those were headliners yeah so pretty justin much jefferson looked really nice i think it was a speed uh helmet that's why it really popped mcnab he couldn't stop throwing up on that last series yep that's right legit podcasts uh, you are referencing that Super Bowl. Donovan McNabb uh, was was tired. He was throwing up. Hit all sorts of passes, but couldn't hit the running back in the flat. Terrell Owens played great in that game, by the way. That was T.O. on the Eagles. Came back from injury and dominated in the Super Bowl. There you go, Bob. That's a good one. Tired, nervous. Could be either. Could be either. Super Bowl is, is a tough stage. Tough stage. Not made for everyone. Joe Montana, 4-0 in the Super Bowl, though. Made for Mr. Montana. Made for Mr. Brady as well with seven Super Bowl titles. T.O. played on a broken leg. He sure did. It was a magical comeback for Mr. Owens. You can never question his toughness. Uh, New Year football, number one. We had several questions about that one. All the headliners are there in that series except for Dion Primetime. In that series, uh, we've got Tyreek Hill, Drew Brees, Trevor Lawrence, Stephon Diggs, Saquon Barkley, Antonio Brown. 22, says Matthew Kerr. All right, Matthew, you beat me to the punch. I was going to ask for a box number, but Matthew knows how it's done. 22 is going off the ticker, and we are going to see what's in that box. 22. Good start, Michael Walker with the McNabb. 22, right up top. Even gotta be honest, this feels kind of heavy. Okay. We have a few full-size authentics in this series. Not many, but a few. This, this could be one of them. This feels like a heavy box, Steven. Right. 22, Mr. Kerr looks like he probably picked a good box. Feels heavy. Gotta love it. You know what I say, Steven? A breaker's dream opening up a full-size authentic helmet. Maybe my dream, at least. Got a lot of them on the site right now. We haven't had that many recently. All full-size Authentics in the Brady Series. We have all full-size Authentics in the Breezy. Some full-size Authentics in the New Year Eve football. As well as uh, the Naughty or Nice. Naughty or Nice has a mix of reps and full-size Authentics. And then we have several Cowboy fans in the room. Uh, there's an Emmett Smith and a Michael Irvin in that series. I think those are headliners. I think they're both full-size Authentics. So, as for your divisions, James Bushney is in the NFC North. Matthew Kerr in the NFC South and NFC East. William Lindhall in the NFC West. James Bushney has the North, South, and East in the AFC. And William also has the AFC West. New Year football, number one for the night. Or for the day, rather. First of many, I'm sure. People, this is probably our most popular series on the site right now. People have really enjoyed playing this the last few days, Stephen. And that's because it's what 30 bucks a spot and like yeah. i said we do have some full-size authentics in there this is definitely a full-size authentic i wasn't kidding it's heavy this is heavy are you kidding me steven the hit of the series maybe the hit of the day 
How about Drew Brees? Drew Brees, full size authentic thing of beauty, yes. Mr. Brees. Wow, what a hit there. You kidding me? Woo, Drew Brees. Very nice. Pretty much second all time in every statistic behind Mr. Brady. Drew Brees, the big headliner in this series. Brees is off the board. That is the NFC South. That is Matthew Kerr called out the box number. He says, always pick a good box, but never hit it. This time, Matthew, you are hitting. Drew Brees. This was the best hit in the New Year football, most likely. One of the all-time great quarterbacks. Nice. Full-size authentic, Matthew. Two spots in there, 30 bucks times two is 60, right? Steven, I'm not a math guy. This helmet is worth a whole bunch more than 60 bucks. Drew Brees. Nice hit indeed. Matthew Kerr. There you go, Matt. Maybe it's, it's your so day. Cool. Maybe it's your day, Matthew. If there's nowhere to go but up. Woo! Drew Brees. Wow. What a start. This is one of the best helmets we have in our whole room. Tom Brady is the most valued. We have some, you know, sick helmets in that Brady series, but this is definitely probably the best helmet not in the Brady series. Drew Brees. I said it. It felt heavy, Stephen. Yeah. I know we have just a few full-size authentics in that New York football sprinkled in there. So I knew this was going to be a great hit. Didn't know it would be this great, though. Drew Brees. That's a great hit. You kidding me? We do those hit of the day videos. Or maybe we'll pull Tom Brady. Maybe Brees won't be the hit of the maybe day. Maybe he'll be topped one more time. Maybe he'll be topped one more time. Wow, Drew Brees. Holy moly. Matthew Kerr. Picks good box numbers, never hits. Until now. Until now. I always pick 22 when it's up. It's my lucky number. There you go. Certainly lucky today, Matt. Certainly lucky. All right, Jay Jetta's number one. We're moving to the jersey breaks. Uh, James Bushney has four spots. Colton Bicker has four spots. James or Colton, if you're in here, can you get me a box number? Uh, otherwise, I will go in the randomizer and random up a box. 8, 9, 10, 24, 25, and 26. Mr. Bushney is going 24. All right, James. Steven, I normally get up and get them, but since they're right next to you, do you mind handing me a Jay Jetta jersey? The one's right there, 24. I think should be in the top section. Made my day, thanks, Matthew. Absolutely. Common Claus is here. It is Christmas time. Ho, 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 indeed. Box 24. Hopefully we can make James and Colton's day as well. Haven't seen the Joe Montana pulled in this series, the Jay Jetta's series. Uh, so... Maybe it's a quarterback Wednesday today, Stephen. We had Donovan McNabb, Drew Brees. Could Tom Brady go today? Quarterback Wednesday. That's what I'll say it. We'll wish it into existence. There you go. Do you know this? I love pulling fire in the break room. We got Joe Montana out there in this jersey series. We have Tom Brady in the helmet series. Let's keep rolling. Jay Jetta's number one. All right, since, since our guy James Bushney, I know for sure is in here. James, I'm going to read your divisions. And then Colton, if you are listening by chance, uh, you will know that you have all the divisions I didn't list. So James Bushney, you're in the NFC North, NFC East, NFC West, and AFC East. Colton, you have the rest. All right, Jay Jettas, number one. Nice and easy. Rip. Okay. This is the guy we have in the break room quite a lot, Steven. I don't think he gets enough credit, though, for who he is. Because this man is part of the 100 Sacks Club. Neil Smith. Not on the Broncos. This is Neil Smith on the Chiefs. Led the NFL in sacks in 1993. Six-time Pro Bowler. Two-time Super Bowl champ. Those coming with the Broncos. But Neil Smith, break room legend, beautiful signature, AFC West hit. Colton Bicker starting his day with a dub. Congratulations, Colton. All right. We have to have a break between the quarterbacks, right? Yeah. We have to cool off just a little bit. 
Very true. Not many guys in the 100 sacks club, Stephen, though. That's like a elite club, like the 3,000 hit club, 500 homer club. Neil Smith is in there. One of the best. One of the best in the game's history. Holton, hope you're watching. Hope you like that win. Neil Smith. Scott Thompson says, Colton, if you're not a Smith fan, let me know. I would buy or trade for that. All right, Scott. Naughty or Nice number one is up next. Robert Anderson, George T. Matthew Kerr. Keep the, keep the hot streak going. James Strode, Michael LaPree, and Travis Hanga. Naughty or Nice number one. Uh, let's see. We have 3, 5, 9, 10, 11, and 14 on the box numbers. Let us know, guys. Let us know. A whole bunch of people in the break room today. Love to see a lot of different people hopping in with some orders. It's gonna be a busy show, Steven. Sounds good to me, Common. Eleven. Matthew Kerr's going half of his last prediction, which was twenty-two. If this kid is half as good as the other one, it's gonna be quite a day for Mr. Kerr. Drew Brees, second hit of the day. Are you kidding me, Steven? That's awesome. Naughty or nice number eleven. I think James Bushney's a Cowboys fan. I know Cody Neff, Chris Roberts are Cowboys fans. We have Emmett Smith and Michael Irvin in this series, Stephen. Nice. And the potential for a second hit if you're deemed to be nice. For 11, 14, 17. Oh, here's 11. Even this one also feels heavy. Oh. Could be another full-size authentic in here. What would it be? Feels heavy, man. I said it last time. I said it felt heavy. It was Drew Brees. This one's feeling heavy, guys. Could be a full-size authentic in here. Could it be one of those headliners in that series? We have what? Justin Fields in there, Michael Irvin, Emmett Smith. Who else is in there, Steven? Naughty or nice? I think we've got George Kittle. George Kittle. George Taylor, DK Metcalf, Chase Claypool. Pretty good list. Yes, very good list. Pretty good list. Speaking of lists, here's our folks in here. Hook me up again, guys, says Matthew Kerr. Wish it into existence, Matt. Wishing it into existence certainly works. Seven, eight, and nine. All right. Here are our divisions. Copy these bad boys into here. Let's see. George T. You're in the NFC North. James Strode, the NFC South. Michael Lepree, NFC East. Matthew Kerr, NFC West. AFC North. Robert Anderson in the AFC South. Travis Hanga out in the AFC East, and James Strode, the second. James Strode, number two, in the AFC West. This feels heavy. NFC East is a great division. We got Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin in the NFC East. Feels heavy. I'll be honest with you, Stephen. It feels heavy. Feeling Cowboys here. That's not me, says Matthew. Okay. Matthew, you're in the NFC West. George Kittle is in that division. This looks like, like a full-size authentic. It's in one of our full-size bags. Matthew Curtis feeling Cowboys? What did I say? Michael Irvin, Emmett Smith in this series? I said full-size authentics? Here you go. Michael Irvin. Full-size authentic, Michael Irvin, number 88, one of the greatest receivers of all time, three-time Super Bowl champ, multi-time Pro Bowler, Michael Irvin, NFC East hit. All it takes is one spot to play. Michael Lepree, Lepree out of Italy, the Italian with the Michael hey, Irvin. Oh, yeah, yeah Mike. Wow, James Busney says, wow, wow indeed, Michael Lepree. 
Back-to-back -back headliner hits. Another win with a single spot snipe. Holla at your boy, says Michael himself. Irvin, full-size authentic. Naughty or nice. You've certainly been nice. No nice card in here. Oh, there is a nice card in here. Are you kidding me, Steven? The fun keeps coming in. The card was stuck at the bottom. Mr. Lepree, you get yourself another hit. One spot. What is this series? 40 bucks. Gets himself a Michael Irvin full-size authentic. He's also nice. I'm going to pull you an extra hit here. Mr. Lepree. You are also taking home 20 bucks UA cash. Stephen will get that in your account. Yes, sir. Michael Lepree. Lepree. Lepree it is. Michael to Michael. Michael Irvin going home to Michael. That works out well. Wow. Steven. It's a Hall of Fame Wednesday. What a show. I have to commit to a name here soon. <laughs> Hall of Fame Wednesday. Coop QB Wednesday. Mm. I'm running out of out of things. This is this is awesome. Wow. Irvin. Single spot snipe. Matthew Kerr, you're feeling it. Matthew Kerr's got the box numbers. Maybe we can have him call out the box numbers because he's been getting calling out some good box numbers. Got himself Drew Brees. Now we have Michael Irvin for Mr. Michael Lepree. <laughs> Matthew Kurtz is now charging five bucks a pop for picking out box numbers. There you go. Hey man, I'll be honest. I would I would take him up on that deal with the way he's going today. Wow. Love the full size authentics. What is the naughty or nice price that? Is it 40? I think it's 40. Yeah, it's 40. 40. So, I mean, you can get a full-size Authentic for 40 bucks in that series. Speaking of full-size Authentics, Brady Helmets number two is ready. Holton Bickers in here, James Strode, Scott Thompson, and Josh Shrek and Ghost. Let us know, guys. Brady Helmets number two. Uh, let us know what box number you want. That is our chase item of the day. Uh, so would be fun. 14, please. All right, 14 is off the ticker, and it's a common. I already know this is going to be a full-size authentic, so I know it's going to feel heavy. Let's see what it is, though. Brady, Brady, Brady. Where are you at, Mr. 14? I see you. There you are. What a show. What a start. What a start. Could be good. That's my birthday. All right, Matthew Kerr. Guys, just take note and listen to Matthew Kerr. It's it's his day. So it's going to be good. You know what? I already know it's going to be good because these are all full-size authentics, and it's a six series. The question is, is it going to be great? That's the only question. All right, guys. We're going to randomize nine times for your divisions. A lot of fire coming out of the break room today, Steven. Yes. Whole bunch of fire. Nine times. Here we go. Take the randomizer off. And paste our folks into their divisions. Scott Thompson in the NFC South. Colton Baker in the NFC South. Scott is the NFC East and NFC West. Josh in the AFC North. James in the AFC South. And Colton has the AFC East and AFC West. Uh, two great divisions to have in this series, Stephen. AFC East, because Tom Brady's out there, as well as Dan DeMand Marino. Uh, and also, the NFC West is really good. We have DK Metcalf, Marshall Falk out there in that series. And the NFC North is also good with Devontae Adams and Barry Sanders. So, Scott, you've got the NFC West and the NFC North. That is a headliner's dream. I know the AFC East has Brady, which is Colton, but Scott, I'll, I'll be honest. You're in a good position with, with those headliner divisions. Brady Helmets, number two. Come on out, buddy. There he is. Let's see what we got here. Oh, my. Oh, my. 
This is a really, really sick looking helmet, Steven. That the AFC East is the good division. We have Tom Brady and Dan Marino. This is not them. But this is Jason Taylor on a flash Miami Dolphins Ooh. helmet. Jason Taylor, one of the best defensive ends in the game. Former defensive player of the year. One of the best sack guys in NFL history. He's a 100 sack club guy. Jason Taylor on the flash. Dolphins flash. You kidding me? This thing is beautiful. AFC East. That is Colton Baker. All right, Colton, second win of the day. AFC East. Jason Taylor on the flash. Wow. What's up, guys? Cody. Cody, my man, where are you? You missed the Michael Irvin helmet. Pulled out of the Naughty or Nice series, Cody. We pulled a full-size authentic Michael Irvin helmet. That Naughty or Nice series also has a full-size authentic Emmett Smith helmet in it, Cody. So hop in the Naughty or Nice since you're a Cowboys fan. I would trade Irvin for that. Colton, you got an offer. You got an offer. Colton, you got an offer. Got the Dutch one. All right. Well, hey, this is... You don't have Emmett Smith, though, my man. Taylor. Oh, we won't forget Drew Brees, but Colton, uh, who is it? Cody is a huge Cowboys guy. Yeah, don't forget Drew Brees. I was just telling Cody that we have Cowboys gear in the room, Emmett Smith in the room. Cody's a huge Cowboys fan. I uh, had to let him know of the Cowboys fire we have in here, but the Drew Brees hit, probably the hit of the day so far, but it's hard. We've had a lot of good hits. We have this Jason Taylor flash. We have Drew Brees full-size authentic. Michael Irvin full-size authentic. It's, it's a great start. Great start. So Cody, if you wanna play, audio nice. Oh, by the way, how about them Cowboys? How about them Cowboys, Cody? James Bushney is a Cowboys fan, too. This is a great time for Cowboys uh, fans to play. We had Michael Irvin go, but Emmett Smith is still out there. And then Naughty or Nice. Speaking of Naughty or Nice, Naughty or Nice number two is ready. Joshua S. and Colton Bickers in here. Got that door set in the jackpot box yesterday, said James Bushney. Okay, sweet. And boys defense are in it to win it, says James. Well, they got Mr. Trayvon Diggs. The Pickmaster, nine, please. Okay, nine in Naughty or Nice number two. Uh, all right, nine is there. I'll take nine off, and we'll bring you guys number nine. Giants fan here, says Michael. Mike, Michael Parsons is the nastiest in the NFL. Cody Knapp is a huge Michael, Par Michael Parsons fan. Number nine. Nine, what are you? Nine's probably in the back. Yep. Here. All right, guys. Let's keep the fire going. What a day. I can't remember the last time we started this hot to start a show, Steven. Yeah. Perfect time, too. Where's the fire department? We got we got a we have a situation here in the break room. A lot of fire coming out. Drew Brees, Michael Irvin, Jason Taylor, all full size authentics. Alright, here we go, guys. Joshua, not a name. That I've seen before. I know he's in here calling box numbers. Josh, welcome to the break room. You might have been someone who's been gone for a while and came back. Uh, welcome, welcome. Colton, you're in the NFC North and NFC West. Josh, you have the rest. Naughty or nice, number two. That's not our new customer, is it, Steven? So Josh or Shuffle Yeah. Uh, I've seen his name before. Okay, you've seen his name before. I have not. 11 orders. 11 orders. All right, so relatively new customer. Glad to have you here. Just came in yesterday for the first time. Okay, perfect. Well, I'm glad you've returned. Where's the card? Hold on a second.
The third is here. Our little car telling us who it is isn't here. But I do know who this is, Steven. Because I recognize the signature. It's Anthony Carter. Anthony Carter on the Eclipse for the Vikings. Anthony Carter, three-time Pro Bowl wide receiver. He was the Big Ten MVP coming out of Michigan. That is an NFC North hit. Colton had two spots in there. And he has taken home Anthony Carter. This time it's a replica. Replica Anthony Carter helmet. But one of the best receivers back in the day for the Minnesota Vikings. He was just before Carter, the other Carter. Chris, Chris Carter. Carter. That's and, right. And then, uh, what was it? The, uh, Randy Moss. Randy Moss, yep. Anthony yes. Carter played in the 70s, I believe, Stephen. Is that, isn't that right? I think he played the 70s and 80s. I think he was an 82 Big Ten MVP for Michigan. So I think his NFL career was maybe the 80s. 85 and, to 95. 85 to 95. I was going to say 85 and 90s. Bolton, congratulations. Anthony Carter is coming to you. You have an offer from Michael Lepre, by the way, Colton. Uh, he, he's willing to trade the Michael Irvin helmet for that Jason Taylor. If you're listening, Colton, you did have a trade offer coming your way. Trade offers in the break room. You know, when you have trade offers, Steven, it means that we're pulling good stuff. It's Anthony Carter, probably our worst pull so far. But otherwise, it's been all fire uh, today. Drew Brees, Michael Irvin, Jason Taylor. Very nice. That's an amazing trade. All right, New Year football at number two. Michael Laprie, Nestor Rodriguez, Colton Bicker, Michael Walker, and Scott Thompson. If we can get a box number for New Year football number two, then we've got Jay Jettas number two, Naughty or Nice number three behind that. So a lot of breaks. Fill up some more, head to the break page. Uh, but now get us a box number. Nestor, I know I saw you in here earlier. Michael, I know you're here. You've got that dub earlier with the single spot snipe. Colton, Michael, and Scott. Scott was in here as well in the chat. Uh, so if you guys can get us a box number, we have 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. The last time we did a New Year football poll, it was Drew Brees. Just saying, just saying. That series is hot. Irvin has to be worth more than Jason Taylor. I think so, too. I think Irvin is worth more than Jason Taylor. That is a Jason Taylor flash, though, and I am a sucker for the flashes, personally. Um, 18. We got 18 being called out. All right. 18. I will get that off the ticker, Scott, and I will bring it uh, for you to look at. Thank you very much, Scott. 18. It's Peyton Manning's number. Yes, it is. One of the GOAT quarterbacks. All right, New Year football, 20. Probably behind here, isn't it? I think it is. There it is. 18 is right there. Gotta reach for that one, Stephen. Good thing I'm tall and have long arms. Right, here we go. Number 18. Michael, you have 21. Scott just barely beat you there with 18. Go ahead and randomize for our divisions, Stephen. All right, here we go. Nine times. What I love about the naughty or nice and the New Year football, there are full-size authentics in both of those. So if you happen to hit those full-size authentics, you're really getting yourself a bargain. All right, New Year football number two. All right, Colton, you're on the NFC North. Scott, you're out in the NFC South. Colton has the NFC East. Michael in the NFC West, Nestor in the AFC North, Colton has the AFC South, Nestor also has the AFC East, and Michael has the AFC West. Michael Lepre, that is. We have Michael Lepre and Michael Walker in here. What is a Justin Mega? A Mega Box? The Mega Box? Do we have that on the site right it's now? A, it's a virtual one. 
Oh, we don't open the virtual ones. I'm sorry. The only stuff we don't open on the air is the virtual ones. That one's going to be sent to your email. Yeah, that'll be sent to your email. Uh, that typically gets sent to your email uh, 10 minutes uh, after you do it. So I'm sorry about that. Um, we The only thing we don't open live on the air is the virtual mystery boxes. All right, so first off, I have some good news. Whoever wins this break... You've won a ticket to our New Year's Eve grand prize drawing for a Jersey Break spot each week of 2022. So there's 10 of these tickets in our 50 box series, Stephen. This is ticket number four out of 10. So if you get one of these tickets, you get entered in for a top spot drawing on New Year's Eve. And if your top spot hits, you get a free Jersey Break spot each week of 2022. Very nice. So the winner of this will essentially have a 1 in 10 chance to have free jerseys for 2022. It could really be 2 in 10 or 3 in 10 if the same person gets this one. So, bonus prize. Bonus prize in this break. Uh, as for the winner who gets the bonus prize, let's see who it is. I can tell you it's going to be. It's going to be Colton. Colton Bicker, you are the winner of this item, and you get yourself a chance to have a free jersey break spot. This is a Jalen Johnson football. Jalen Johnson, the Bears cornerback. Steven, you know him. He normally guards the number one guy on the opposing team. Jalen Johnson, number 33. He's got nine pass deflections this season. Had a key pick against Joe Burrow that resulted in a Bears win. A second round pick out of Utah, I believe. Second year with the Bears, Jalen Johnson. All right, Colton. You've got the Johnson, but more importantly... A chance for a free jersey break spot for all of 2022. Very nice, Colton. Johnson football. NFC North is hot today. Yeah. Several NFC North hits. Johnson football. All right, Colton. I'm going to write this up after the show, but I'm going to copy you in uh, to that list uh, for us. So this is, let's see where that list is. So we have it. It is New Year Top Spot Chase. Colton, you're in there. Charles PV House, Aaron King, Matthew Kerr, also in there. So you four folks have a shot to win a free jersey break spot. Uh, each week of 2022 so one free jersey break spot each week of 2022 that's pretty cool it is a lot of promotions around the christmas holiday stephen and new year's or hanukkah whatever whatever it is you celebrate the holiday season we'll we'll put it that way all right so we have what jay jetta's number two is next yes all right let me get this johnson football mark down johnson jay jetta's number two we've got james strode Scott Thompson and James Bushney, if you guys can get us a box number. And uh, first time customer Andrew Thigpen. He bought himself, I believe, the last jack. Is the one jackpot mixer left? Or we got a lot of those left. No, he got a football, autographed football, mini helmet, mystery box, a nifty 50. We can open that on the air. That one we can't open on the air. Yes, we, we can get to that. We typically wait till we fill up the brakes. And we save the mystery uh, boxes for the last thing we do. But we can do that personal on the air. Let's get through Jay Jetta's number two and Naughty or Nice number three. And then we can grab that on the air. Matthew Kerr says, hoping you guys hook me up on Christmas Eve. I have three Brady heads also. Okay, Matthew. Two Brady heads left. Uh, we have a Brady drawing on Christmas Eve. Top spot for that one. Also gets a free Tom Brady item. Uh, we have two Brady heads left. I said this at the top of the show. Our Brady helmet series closes on Friday, Christmas Eve, no matter what. We don't pull the Tom Brady. We don't pull the Tom Brady heads. Uh, that series is done. Tom Brady goes back into inventory. So if you guys want that Tom Brady, we have 39, 38 boxes left. We've got to get through those today, tomorrow, and Friday. Awesome. Thank you. You got it. Uh, James Bushney called out eight, by the way, for the Jay Jettas. Uh, James, uh, we will get number eight for you. Jay Jetta's jersey number eight. Can you get that one, Steven? I think it should be up top there, hopefully. I can get it if you're busy. 
All right, eight is my lucky number, James. Could be a could be a good omen for you. Matthew Kerr's lucky number hit earlier with that Drew Brees helmet. Let's see if it hits for you. All right. Throw the randomizer back up. Here we go. We're going nine times for your divisions. What do you think Drew Locke's stat line will be over under his three picks? Jakeem, hating my boy Drew Locke. Mizzou Tiger, like myself, I used to interview him back in my days as a TV sports reporter in Columbia, Missouri. Uh, Drew Locke, I think, will get two picks. I'll go under three. His NFL career hasn't materialized yet, but three picks is a lot to throw in a game. I, I don't think he's going three picks, but we'll find out. We'll find out. We have Jay Jettas coming up, Steven. Yep. I think Joe Montana, haven't seen him pulled in this series. James Bushney, you have the NFC North. James Crow, the NFC South. James Bushney, the NFC East. Scott has the NFC West, AFC North, AFC South, and AFC West. James, you also have the AFC East. Here we go. Army 34, Missouri 10, says Matt Menard. Ouch. Ouch. Mizzou plays in a in a bowl game tonight. They're not great at stopping the run. So that so could that's be, what Army does. That's what Army does. It could be a tough game for Mizzou, but I'm hoping to come out with a win. All right, good hit here. One of the great quarterbacks. Joe Theismann, the 1983 MVP Joe Theismann with the Washington football team. I actually heard this man speak to a great speaker. Theismann, that is an NFC East hit. That is James Bushney. You're getting yourself one of the best quarterbacks of the 80s, Joe Theismann. He was great before that horrific injury with Lawrence Taylor. But nonetheless, Joe Theismann, really good quarterback back in the 80s. Joe Theismann. I like that hit. I like that jersey. It's a, it's a clean, fresh-feeling jersey. I don't like the organization, but I like the jersey. <laughs> Colton, are you in here? Colton Bicker. Colton, are you in here? Colton B is the guy who to talk to about that one, Mr. Michael Lepre. Colton, if you're in here, Michael is looking to trade that Michael Irvin helmet for that Jason Taylor. It's up to Colton. He makes those calls. Where'd my here's my mouse? NFC East, James Bushney called out the box number. Got his favorite division with the Cowboys. Did get a Theismann jersey. It's pretty good, if you ask me. Pretty good hit. NFC East is hot, too. Michael Laprie, I believe Colton is, is a Facebook guy. So maybe hit him up on Facebook about that trade. Uh, haven't seen him in the chat today. But I know he pops in the chat sometimes. Nice hit, James. Hope you're happy. I know it's a rival team, the Washington football team, but a pretty good hit. Uh, Naughty or Nice number three is coming. Michael Crisp, Scott Thompson, and Matthew Kerr. And Naughty or Nice number three, if we can get a box number, guys. Uh, we've got three, five, ten, and fourteen. Uh, and let's see, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a couple more. How about 15 as well? And 17. Give you a couple more numbers uh, there to pick from. They will update on the ticker. 14 says Matthew Kerr. All right, Matthew, 14 is coming up. I'll get 15 and 17 up. Uh, so we have that option going forward. Matthew Kerr called out 22, got Drew Brees. Called out 11, someone else got Michael Irvin. Uh, so he's on a roll today. Let's see. 14. This is naughty or nice, right, Stephen? Yes, it is. Are you kidding me, Stephen? This feels heavy. A mixture of replicas and full sizes in here in this series. This feels like a full size authentic. Scott Thompson coming in with five. Uh, Matthew just barely beat you there, but. I think he picked another good box number because this is definitely a full-size authentic. Wow, says Matthew Kerr. Indeed. 
Indeed, Matthew Kerr is in fuego, Stephen. En fuego. Feels heavy. Matthew's got a lot of spots in here, too. Let's see where we are after nine clicks here. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, here we go. Take the randomizer off. Go to your divisions. Now you're nice number three, Michael Crisp. You're in the NFC North. Scott Thompson, you're in the NFC South. Matthew Kerr out in the NFC East, NFC West, and AFC North. Scott Thompson, AFC South, AFC East, and Matthew Kerr, AFC West. Naughty or nice? Number three. Oh, man. What could be in here? Feels heavy. Definitely unauthentic. You were naughty, but that's okay. No big deal. You ready for this, Steven? How about another headliner hit? DK Metcalf, Seattle Seahawks star receiver. He's fast. He's strong. He can get up there. He's got it all going. One of the best receivers in the NFL. That is a headliner hit. That is a full-size authentic. That is an NFC West hit. And that is Matthew Kerr taking home another dub. DK Metcalf, headliner hit. Congratulations, Matthew Metcalf. Woo! How about that? Wow. Wow, indeed. I'm just cleaning the series out. I'm cleaning the series out. And we had what? What box number was this, Stephen? 14, I believe. This is 14. The last box number was 11. Uh, so people are always thinking, hey, those box numbers, those headliners can't be next to each other. Well, we had box number 11 as a headliner. Box number 14. It is completely random. We make our lists completely random. You can have almost back-to-back -back headliners. Metcalf. That is awesome, bro. Hot today indeed. Matthew is hot. That's because Matthew came in here this weekend and he said he was cold. He said he was cold. Santa Claus listened and felt bad. He said, Matthew, from cold, you're going to be hot. And he's been very hot today. DK Metcalf. That's Matthew's second headliner hit of the day. Nice. Drew Brees and DK Metcalf. We also pulled the Michael Irvin headliner. We're moving. We're grooving. Yeah, that Naughty or Nice series, really, if you get a full-size authentic, it's a bargain. Because that $40 price, Stephen, what? Our rep replicas are typically 38. Uh, so that series has a mix of authentics and full sizes. If you get that, it's it's a good hit. Scott Thompson says, Matthew, if you want to trade Metcalf, let me know. 14, my birthday number. My lucky numbers are hot today, says Matthew Kerr. Common Clause is here a few days early. That's right. Common Clause is here. Chris Roberts, are you watching? Matthew Kerr's calling me Common Clause. I'm here early. I'm here early. I would say this, guys, if you want to keep the Christmas presents coming, I will rip out some fire for you, as you've seen. I think, Stephen, we're all closed up on breaks, or did we just fill up? I just gave you New Year football. Oh, New Year football number three is, is ready. Uh, otherwise, we are caught up on breaks. So hop into the break page now if you want to fill up some orders. We have four left in Jay Jettas. We have seven left in the next Brady series. And that next Naughty or Nice... Uh, is just up right now as well. So hop in, guys. Fill out those breaks. We'll keep the fire coming. And don't worry, our new customer, we didn't forget about you. We'll do your personal uh, after we do this break, unless another break uh, fills up before that. So New Year football number three, James Bushney, Chris Bostain, Michael Laprie, Jan Ellison, Mitch Black, and James Bushney. If you guys have a box number, um, a couple is, are those new customers, Jan and Mitch? I don't recognize those no. names. Not. not new customers well hey then welcome back guys haven't seen you guys in the break room before you must have been former customers coming back uh can we get a box number from you folks we have 17 19 20 and 21 
I'll put 23 up there as well. 23 is my second favorite number behind 8. You guys don't get me a box number? I will randomize all those that we have up there for our divisions. Last call for those box numbers, folks. 17, 19, 20, 21, or 23. James Bushney and Michael Lepre. I know I've seen you guys in the chat tonight, or today rather, this afternoon, if you guys want to call it out, or one of those other folks that I mentioned. All right, I'm going to head to the randomizer, Stephen, because we haven't had anyone calling out those box numbers. I'm just going to randomize the box number uh, for our next break. All right. Throw this into the randomizer. We're going to go nine times as our, as, as our dice roll. Top spot is going to be the box number that we go with, keeping it completely random. Eight and nine. All right, 21. 21 is top spot. I will pick box 21. Let me take that off the ticker. 21 is coming right up. There it is, I see 21 up top here. Here we go, box 21 is picked by the randomizer. We've got James Bushney, Chris Bostain, Michael, Jan, Mitch, all in here. Get to that randomizer again, Steven. All right, here we go. Going nine times here. I don't know, Matt. I'm not sure what happened with their chat, but that's okay. What what happened? Did Chris call out a box number? Are you seeing a box number in your chat? Uh, I see C boss called twenty. Uh, James Bushy with fifty. Oh. All right, hold on, guys. My chat, I'll show you guys what I'm seeing on... What was on... that for the last one? Ooh. Hold on. Let me take the randomizer off. So, Steven, on your end, you're seeing Chris Bostain calling out 20? Chris called out... Was uh, James Bushy... James yeah. Bushy and Chris are in this one. Yeah, 20 and 21. All right, cool. All right, well... See boss first with 20. Okay, 21 was called, or 20 was called first. This is my chat, so on my end, it didn't come through. Sometimes this program does that. It came out on Steven's end. Steven, you said 20 was the first one? 20 was the first one. All right, 20 was the first one. I'm going to get 20 first. Um, didn't see it on my end. So that's, that happens once in a while. The chat sometimes doesn't work for us. Uh, I didn't see any box number called out on my end. Uh, Steven said... 21 was first. I don't see 21. I see C-Boss at 20. So it was 20 or 21 first? I don't know, Matt. Which one came through first, Steven? 20. 20. 20. Okay, I'll get 20 then. Didn't show up on my end. That happens every once in a while. The chat tends to... Tends to freeze sometimes. It comes up through one end and not through the other. I was wondering why no one was saying anything. Uh, so we're going to actually go ahead and go with 20 because that's what came through first. And guess what, Steven? It's heavy. Could be another full-size authentic in here. So it looks like 20 probably going to turn out to be a better box number than, than 21 after all. Because 21 was very light. So I think 20 ended up being a good decision. The claws clicker is active, says Chris Roberts. It's active indeed. Chris, we pulled the Michael Irvin full-size authentic out of Naughty or Nice. We pulled the Drew Brees full-size authentic out of New Year Football. A lot of fire coming out today. Mitch Black, you're in the NFC North. Chris Bostain in the NFC South. Chris, that 20 box number you called out did not come through in my chat, uh, but we took care of you because Steven, he saw it on his end. James Bushney, you're in the NFC East. 
That's your Cowboys, James. You also have the NFC West. Michael Laprie has the AFC North. Mitch Black has the AFC South, AFC East. And Jan Ellison has the AFC West. Make sure you add 21 back to yep, the ticker. Yep, 21 is going back on the ticker. 20 is going off the ticker. How does that sound? Case Claypool coming here, says Jason Reed. All right, we'll see. New York football, number three, feels like a full-size authentic in here, Steven. Feels like a full-size authentic to me. It's in the bag. This is definitely a full-size authentic, guys. Definitely a full-size authentic. Let's see what it is. Come on, box. Open up. Open up. What do we got in here? Are you kidding me, Steven? Hey, Claypool. James Bushney! Hidden headliner, New Year football, full-size authentic, Troy Aikman, the Cowboy star, the quarterback. Troy Aikman, hidden headliner, James Bushney, the Cowboys fan, full-size authentic, Troy Aikman. You kidding me? Troy Aikman, there it is. It is Beckett certified, Mr. Troy Aikman coming out of the box. Uh, you also get a little bonus. You get, let's see, what was there? A little picture of Troy Aikman. Did I drop it? Here's the Troy Aikman picture signing it. Troy Aikman, James Bushney. He loves me. Boom, Bushney. Troy Aikman. You kidding me? Hidden the headliner, Steven. Aikman. We had Irvin earlier today. Aikman going off the board now. I gotta I gotta breathe for a second. This is too exciting. Too exciting. This is the day, guys. Fire is coming left and right. Keep it rolling. Troy Aikman. Holy cow. Common Claus has delivered, says Chris Roberts. James, getting delivered to you. Troy Aikman. Beautiful signature, too. Beck inserted. Get a little bonus photo of Troy as well. Holy moly. 20 was the number. That's what I wanted next, says Matthew Kerr. Okay, Matthew. You're on fire with those numbers. Ah. Uh, holy cow. Holy cow. Steven, what's your favorite hit today? Troy Aikman, Michael Irvin, Drew Brees, DK Metcalf. All full-size authentic. Jason Taylor Flash. I don't know. So many full-size authentics coming out today. No one that really hits home. No one that hits home? Mm -mm. Well, James Bushney is, is, is happy with Troy Aikman. Yeah, see, nothing like that. That's hitting home to him. I like the Taylor Flash. The John, the Jason Taylor Flash? I, mean, I just like the look of it. I know it's not the most valuable. But... Chris Roberts says, good thing you guys got that box number squared away. Yep, indeed. Indeed. Didn't come through on my chat side. Holy cow. Well, guys, the Naughty or Nice series is hot today, uh, as is the New Year football. Those series, we have some magic coming out of there today. Um, always lurking. Always lurking. All right, so let's let's do the personal. We had a customer that wanted a personal. Uh, we don't have a break right now, so we're going to do your personal. We have two personals, actually, right? Uh, yeah, but we haven't had any confirmation. Okay, so... So, Andrew, if you're in here, we'll do a jackpot personal. But, Joshua, we are going to do Nifty 50. I have a Marino Authentic Flash, says Bob. Dolphins and Chargers are the best flashes. I like the Breeze. Okay. It'll look good next to the Flash Breeze I got. Okay, Matthew. Drew Breeze Collector. We do have a Dan Marino in the Brady Authentic Series. That is a Dan Marino Eclipse, I believe. Uh, Joshua, if you're in here, let us know on the Nifty 50 personal. Uh, as soon as you hop in here, I can get you some box numbers that we have available. We have, what, about 15 of those Nifty 50 left. Uh, so let us know on that personal. Uh, otherwise, guys, let's see what, what we're looking like on the break page, Steven. Uh, I am here. Yes. Okay, so he's here. Let me let me get some box numbers for you and tell you uh, what's available. So let's see. We have 30, 31. 33, 35, 41, 
39, 42, 48, 47, 45, 46. Tell you what, we basically have everything from 40 to 50. And then we have mostly everything 30 to 40. So we have box numbers roughly from 30 to 50 with a few else gone. Uh, let me know what one he wants. 33, please. 33, perfect. We have 33. It's coming. All right, nifty 50 personal. Holy cow, Bob. Bob has a Breeze Flash Authentic also with a Hootat Nation inscription. Hootat. That sounds pretty cool. A Nifty 50 Mini. All these minis are specialty. Flashes, Lunars, etc. Here's a Flash. Hall of Fame Flash. Steelers Hall of Famer. Jack Ham. Joshua, you are taking home a Steelers Flash. That is Jack Ham Hall of Fame 88. Joshua. Ham the man. I like that. Jack Ham. Guy we see in the break room quite a lot. Nothing to laugh about. Jack Ham is a great outside linebacker, four time Super Bowl champ, eight time Pro Bowler, Pro and College Football Hall of Famer. As Bob says, part of the Steel Curtain, that is Steel Curtain defense, Andy Russell, Jack Ham, and who's the other linebacker that was part of that trio? Um, Lambert, maybe? I know it's the greatest linebacking trio. Lambert, indeed. Lambert, Bob. I was right. And how about this? Josh was a Steelers fan. That works out amazing. Great pull. Thank you so much. Steelers Hall of Famer. Michael Irvin is still up for trade, says Michael Lepree, guys. That is a Michael Irvin full-size authentic if you guys want to trade uh, for Michael Irvin. Nice hit, Joshua. Glad we can take you a win for your team. Laugh out loud, help me out. I'm a Giants fan, says Michael. Michael doesn't want those Cowboys things. The Giants, Chris. The Giants are his team. Joe Green, Elsie Greenwood, Dwight White, and Ernie Holmes up front, says Bob. Joe Green was a mean defensive lineman on that defense. The Steel Curtain, one of the all-time great defenses uh, ever. Jack Ham, a big part of it. Very nice. All right. That personal is in the books. We'll have this ready for you in a moment. We have a break ready? Yep. Is it new year? Or is it naughty or nice? Naughty or nice. Not here, nice. All right, good to hear. Steven, we've been so hot with the break page, and I'm having, I'm having so much fun. I forgot to lower our Dutch item. Oh, man, this guy hasn't been lowered the whole show. Uh, so let's let's take a whole big chunk out of there. It's not rock bottom price, but it's getting close. Let's go from 350 to 260 on this Mike Allstott. I'll take care of that in a moment. Sweet. That list is getting finalized. We also have... Two slots left in the next Jay Jettas break. Seven slots left in the next Brady break. Eight slots in the beater box. Eight slots in the Breezy Does It. Seven in the next New Year football. So, guys, let's keep those orders coming if you want the magic to keep coming. Uh, this has been a lucky day. It has been a very lucky day. We've pulled Troy Aikman, Michael Irvin, Drew Brees, all full-size authentic helmets uh, this afternoon. So, this is a good day. Giants and Dolphins. Chris, you have any Giants stuff, Dolphin stuff? Maybe to trade them. I think you have a Mercury Morris, don't you, Chris? I don't know that it rivals the DK Metcalf as well. I forgot about DK Metcalf. Holy moly. All right. Larry Rosland, James Strode, Jeanette Lee, Michael Lepree, and Matthew Kerr. If you guys are in here, naughty or nice number four. Hit us with the box number. It's a hot, hot day indeed. 
Hot, mm -hmm. hot day indeed. It's a very hot day. This is one of the hottest days we've had since I've been here. I've been here about three months. Steven and I, relatively new hires, been here about three months now, as hot as we've seen. Jeanette, thank you so much. Jeanette, that's not a name I've seen before. Jeanette coming through with 17. And Naughty or Nice number four. All right, so I will get 17 off the ticker. Uh, Michael, you were just barely beat by Jeanette. Uh, really close there. I will let them pick unless they want me to, says Matthew. Matthew, you should have picked. You're so hot right now. DM and I will take that Irvin. Okay. Uh, Michael, Larry Rossland uh, is game for some trades on that Michael Irvin. 17, this is naughty or nice, right? Yes. All right, cool. Seventeen is probably back here. Let's hope. Ten. Hey up. Oh, here it is. Seventeen. Seventeen was hidden. Even. Some more good news for you, man. Some great news. What did I say? The Naughty or Nice is a mix of full-size authentics and replicas. So far, the full-size authentics have tended to be headliner hits. Full-size authentic boxes feel heavier. This box, this box right here, 17, is feeling heavy, guys. Feeling heavy. Matthew Kerr was also feeling it. Could have another full-size authentic coming out of Naughty or Nice. Wow. Feels heavy. Feels heavy, guys. Here we go. We'll head to the randomizer. We're going nine times for your divisions. I think Justin Fields is in this series as a headliner. Uh, we also have Emmett Smith for our Cowboys folks. Mr. Smith. All right, nine times. Divisions, I mentioned Justin Fields. That's Matthew Kerr in the NFC North. Let's see. Let me pull this up real fast just because I want to make sure I'm saying it right. So, yeah, we do have uh, Justin Fields, Emmett Smith, Lawrence Taylor, George Kittle, all still out there in this series. Lawrence Taylor is an NFC East hit. That would be Mitch Black, Matthew Kerr, NFC North. Could that be Justin Fields? And we still have NFC East. Also has Emmett Smith out there. So just some headliners out there in that series. Box number 17. Well approved by Jeanette and Michael. All one at 17, or Matthew rather. So full-size authentic feel to it. Could this be another headliner hit? Give me the field, says Matthew Kerr. Okay. Well, this is definitely a full-size authentic. Wow. Matthew Kerr! You ready, Steven? Do Ask, it. and you shall receive Justin Fields' full-size authentic flash, the rookie quarterback for the Bears, Justin Fields' full-size authentic flash, NFC North. Matthew Kerr asked for it. Matthew Kerr, you got it. Justin Fields. What's that saying? Ask and you shall receive. Holy moly. Full size authentic. Full size. Nice, I'm hot today. You are more than hot, Matthew. You are more than hot. Wasn't it just Sunday he was super cold? Sunday he came in the break room, told us he was super cold. He's like, I'm getting out of here. I'm taking a break. Came back, got a Sean Alexander Lunar, and now he's on fire. Ask and you shall receive, sir. Justin Fields, you kidding me? Full-size authentic Justin Fields. Holy cow. I got to get a drink of water, Steven. Matt is hotter than McDonald's cup of coffee. Indeed. 
Drew Brees, Justin Fields, Matthew Kerr. Matthew was 0 for 5. Seems like he's 5 for 5. By the way, Quadrina says, who's the Giants and Dolphins fan? I've got some stuff to get rid of. Are they naughty or nice? Oh. I'm so excited. I, I, I forgot to even look. You are naughty, unfortunately. But hey, it doesn't matter. I would say Justin Fields, full-size authentic, is enough for out of this series for this one. DK also. Yeah, Matthew got Drew Brees. Justin Fields and DK Metcalf, all full-size authentics, all headliner hits, all coming in the break room this afternoon. Holy cow. I'm going to have to get a respirator because I'm excited for Matthew Kerr and everyone else. This is exciting, Steven. Holy moly. I think I'm just going to say it feels heavy every time I think it's a full size. Because I said that about Drew Brees. I said that about Troy Aikman. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. How are we looking on the brakes? Just need a number for the Jay Jettas. Jay Jettas. All right, guys. Number for the Jay Jettas. We've got James Bushney, Chris Bostain, Jen, Allison, Mitch Black, James Strode. If you guys can get us a box number. Box number for Jay Jettas. It says number three. Number three. All right. No, Jay Jettas number three is the third series. Yes. Ladies first, says James Bushney. All right, James, you're a true gentleman. Uh, who's the lady in here? Jan. Jan, are you in here? Jan, if you're in here, uh, you are being offered a chance to call out the box number. Otherwise, if someone else cops in, uh, you can have it. Uh, I haven't seen Jan in the chat today, James. So Jan may not be in the chat or may not be wanting to call out a box number. Uh, so we'll, we'll give, give her about 30 seconds. Otherwise, uh, you can call one out. I have five. Five works. Steven will get, well, hold on. Five is not, not available. Not available. We have, this is the J Jettas. We have nine, 10, 25, and 26. I think we've already done five. It is the numbers that are on the ticker is what we have. I think it's nine, 10, 25, and 26. 26, says James. All right, 26 is coming right up. Thank you very much, Steven. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I have J Jettas. I'll get 27 and 29 up there. If we do a few more breaks since we're a little light. Romo James, number nine. Okay. Chris Roberts is saying Romo. We can go with number nine next time, Chris. Chris, you like that Troy Aikman helmet? Chris is like, where are all the Cowboys? Well, we have Troy Aikman and Michael Orvin going off the board today. We still have that Emmett Smith in the Naughty or Nice as well. Who's your team, Matthew asks Bob. Bob is a big DK Metcalf fan. Maybe he, he wants is. that one. Bob is big in DK Metcalf. I hear your divisions, guys. Derek, Derek, guess what's up, Derek? Fire in the break room is up. We pulled full-size authentics today. Drew Brees, Troy Aikman, Justin Fields, DK Metcalf, Jason Taylor. That's what's up. Fire in the break room. All right, here we go. J. Jettis, number three. You see your divisions in there? Let's see what we got here. Let's go! Let's go indeed. Let's go indeed. All right. Eagles buy going to be tough to trade DK away. Matthew Kerr's an Eagles fan. Who pulled the Donovan McNabb? Steven, if you can see who pulled the Donovan McNabb. Michael McNab Walker. Michael Walker pulled the Donovan McNabb, Matthew Kerr. We have a Brian Dawkins in the full-size authentic Brady series. All right, Tommy Kramer is our hit here, Tommy Kramer. He was a Vikings QB from 77 to 89. The NFL passer rating leader in 1986. Second team in all, second team in all pro then. A pro bowler in 86. 
159 passing touchdowns in his career, nearly 25,000 passing yards. Tommy Kramer, number nine. Not a bad hit. Probably the worst hit we've had all day. And if that's the worst hit, you're doing okay. Mitch Black, you're in the NFC North. Mitch, you are getting this Tommy Kramer jersey. All right, Mitch. Kramer. Very nice. I can't get over all the full-size authentic headliners we pulled today, Steven. Hard to believe. Hard to believe. All right. Derek Garcia says, nice. Derek, hop in on those breaks. Maybe the luck can keep coming your way. Matthew Curry is certainly the luckiest guy today, though. He has been hitting left and right. He's like, hey, show me that Justin Fields. And guess what? It was Justin Fields. All right. How are we looking on the break page, Steven? Uh, pretty wide open, Tommy. All right, guys, we're pretty wide open on the break page, as Steven said. So now is the time to hop in and keep the fire going. Derek's hopping in. All right, Derek. So let's see. Let's take a look. We are... Like Steven said, we're pretty much wide open. We've got one slot filled up or all the slots open on every series. So now is the time to hop in and enter the break page. Uh, I should say this, guys. We've had a lot of fire coming out of the Naughty or Nice series. The New Year football series, those are hot. But I do want to revert your attention to our very Brady Authentic Helmet series. Here's the deal with the Brady, Brady series. We are doing a New Year's Eve draw. Anyone who has a Brady head Christmas out of Eve, Christmas Eve. I keep thinking New Year's Eve because we're doing the New Year football. I keep getting confused on that, Stephen. Mm -hmm. But Christmas Eve, we are going to do a drawing for a Tom Brady free item. Anyone who has been, who has gotten a Brady head in our Brady breaks, the college series, the mini series, and the jersey series, this is the list. Tim Pally, Katrina Pirine, Parker, Matthew, Cody, Derek, Dustin, Scott. All these folks are entered in for a top spot chase to get the Brady, free Brady item. We have about 38 Brady helmets left in this series. We are also going to finish this series on Christmas Eve. We don't get Tom Brady before then, too bad. We'll put him in another series. So we need to get the Brady's helmets gone by Christmas Eve. However far we are, we are doing the top spot draw without the Brady heads, and we are closing out the series without pulling Tom Brady. This is a series we put up near Thanksgiving, and the company objective was get this done before Christmas. So we don't get this Brady series done before Christmas. No Tom Brady pull. So this will be the time to get going on those Brady Authentics. Uh, we've only pulled one headliner in the Brady Authentics series. That is DK Metcalf. I pulled that on Sunday. We have Sean Alexander, Tom Brady, Marshall Falk, John Riggins, Dan Marino, and Barry Sanders out there in that Brady series. Uh, so only one headliner gone. Uh, that's the one that I would divert your attention. We've had a lot of fire in the break room. Maybe the fire could keep coming out of that series. I know it's the most expensive one, uh, but that's one that we're going to get out of the room on Christmas Eve, regardless of whether we're done with the series, regardless if the Brady heads are pulled, regardless of whether Brady is pulled. And Michael Lepre saying, Michael Irvin Authentic should not go to a Giants fan. Please help. So... Uh, Michael Lepre is wanting that trade. He wants to get rid of that Michael Irvin, guys. It is a Michael Irvin full-size authentic. Uh, while we have a second here, I'm going to help you out, Michael. I'm going to go grab that helmet, and I'm going to show it off. Maybe this can help your case, because we have we have some time here, and I would love to show off our items. So he won that in what? The naughty or nice number one. Here we go. Michael, I'm going to show you that Michael Irvin. That he's trying to trade. Let's see. Where is Mr. Irvin? Now I'm going to show off the Dutch to Steven. While I give people a chance to fill up some orders. All right. 
This is the Michael Irvin that Michael Lepre is trying to trade. I pulled the Alexander, not the Metcalf. I'm sorry. So Sean Alexander is the only headliner gone. The Metcalf is still out there. James Bushney. Michael Lepre has the Michael Irvin helmet. And he is looking to trade. You want a Fred Dean? <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the Michael Irvin helmet. The full-size authentic we pulled out of the Naughty or Nice series. You know it's full-size authentic. It is one of the all-time great wide receivers. Number 88, multi-time Super Bowl champ. Uh, that is, of course, a Beckett witnessed right there on the cert. It is a beautiful helmet. Michael Irvin, number 88. Who is this team? Michael Lepre, I think, said he's, I believe, a Giants and a Dolphins fan. Chris Roberts will trade a full-size Fred Taylor Authentic. Giants. Bob is asking, Matt, would you trade that Fields or a Miles Sanders Lunar Eclipse Authentic for a Miles Sanders? Mr. Kerr, I know, is looking the trade for the Donovan McNabb, or excuse me, the, the Dawkins helmet. Brian Dawkins. We did have a Donovan McNabb pull today, too, Stephen, did we not? We did. It was the first pull of the day. First pull of the day was Donovan McNabb, Michael Walker. Giants or Dolphins, says Michael. So this is the beautiful helmet that, that wants to be traded away. No to Fred Taylor. Okay, Fred Taylor has been shut down. Already traded with PD House, says Matthew Kerr. Okay, good deal. Never mind then, Matt. This helmet is up for trade. This helmet is up for our Dutch auction. Mike Allstott, one of my all-time favorite player, Super Bowl champ, six-time Pro Bowl fullback. I loved him in Madden. He was always my fullback in Madden. FB dive, third and one. Mike Allstott gets it every time. Nearly 1,000 rushing yards in 99, 10 rushing touchdowns in 01. Uh, let's get that Mike Allstott to the rock bottom price, Stephen. 220 bucks on Mike Allstott for our Dutch. And the only issue with the Dutchie is that up top, there is a little small mark, a little scratch up top. There's a full-size replica eclipse. I'm going to take this Michael Orvin down. Because he's already been sold, we're just looking to trade him. I'll keep the Dutch up, though. Give you guys a chance to hop in for that Dutch. Matthew Kerr has no Giants or Dolphins, unfortunately. I can't believe that no one wants a Michael Irvin full-size authentic. How in the world is Michael Lepre having trouble selling this or trading for this? Not everyone likes the Cowboys. Apparently not. James Bushney, what you got, James? James is a Cowboys fan. What you got, James Bushney? He already got his Aikman. Chris Roberts, what you got? What you guys got for trade? I feel bad for Michael. It's a sick helmet. No one wants it? I'll take it for free, Michael. You want to give me a Christmas present? Yeah, I don't think that's what he's looking for. I'm just kidding. Joking. Completely joking. Yeah, check his inventory when he gets home. Matt Menard already has two Urbans. Okay. James Bushney will check his inventory when he gets home. Okay. Well, Michael, maybe keep it keep it tuned with James Bushney, Chris Roberts, Cody Neff, some of the Cowboy fans in the room. I'm trying to help you out as much as I can. Because that's a pretty good helmet. I know, right? Indeed. Indeed. Shocker. Shocker, shocker, shocker. All righty, so we have four left in the next Brady Authentic. Six left in the next New Year football. So we are going to do a Brady Authentic, guys, before we get off the air here. Four slots left. Who wants to do it? It's also our chase item of the day. Uh, everyone that is in a Brady break gets a chance for an advent calendar pull or double the UA cash. Have you started copying those? They're already ready. Okay. Whenever, Whenever we get there. So the two that are filled up are ready. Yep. Sweet. All right, guys. Hop in now for the Brady and other stuff because if we don't get some orders coming in, 
We are unfortunately going to have to call it an afternoon. We did have a few orders coming in in the last few minutes. Colton Bicker and James Strode. Thank you so much, guys. It is now 127. I will give it until 135. Eight minutes, as is my favorite number. We don't get any orders in the next eight minutes. We'll call it a day. We get a few orders, get to within one or two spots left in the Brady. I'll extend that deadline. Uh, eight minutes to get an order. No orders in the next eight minutes. We are going home for the afternoon. Uh, but I'm happy to stay here for another two hours if, if we get enough orders, guys. I'm happy to stay on as long as you guys want. Uh, fill out some orders. Get you guys some good items. Uh, we pulled a Drew Brees, full-size authentic. Justin Fields, full-size flash authentic. Uh, we pulled a Troy Aikman, full-size authentic. Michael Irvin, full-size authentic. DK Metcalf, full-size authentic. Uh, we've had a great show. Uh, this is the day. If you're ever going to play, it's today because the fire has been going like crazy. And the Brady Authentic Series, you know what it means, Steve? When we pulled a lot of fire out of Naughty or Nice or New Year Football, so possible we don't pull headliners there. But the Brady Series, we've done about a dozen boxes. Only one headliner pulled, arguably the worst headliner in the series. Mm. Uh, so the rest are all still out there. The Brady Authentic would be a great series uh, to get some headliner magic. Bob is asking Matt about the McNabb or Fields he just won. I don't think Matt won the McNabb. Matt won the Fields. Michael Walker won the McNabb. So Michael Walker, let me double check. Uh, that was the first Brady break. Our first Brady break. No, he's, he's asking. Bob has a McNabb. Oh, Bob has a McNabb. He's asking Matt K if he wants to trade Fields for it. Oh. Oh, I got you, Bob. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, so... Bob Boulay is offering his McNabb for the Justin Fields. It is the McNabb Speed Authentic for a Justin Fields Flash. That's a pretty fair trade, actually. I mean, I think, especially if you want a McNabb as an Eagles fan, that's not a bad trade. Eagles, McNabb for Fields. I'd say that's pretty pretty fair. All right. Brady 3 is done. Brady 3 is done. Uh, that list is getting finalized. We will do Brady Number three. Tom Brady's still out there. Marshall Falk is still out there. Uh, we've got Devontae Adams is out there. Uh, we have John Riggins, Dan Marino, Barry Sanders. So many good helmets out there. Uh, we've got Michael Walker, James Trode, Colton Bicker, Larry Rossland, and Matthew Kerr. Just filled the Brady. Thank you so much, Matthew. Appreciate that. Do you have a box number? Uh, or Larry, who's in here as well. You can get us a box number. Colton or James Strode. 17, says Mr. Kerr. Okay, 17 for the Bradys. Here we go. I'm going to get 17 off the ticker. And I'm going to bring it right here. Here comes the, what's that emoji? This entire wow. trade discussion is going to continue if Barry shows up. Barry Sanders. Okay. We'll see. Matt Bernard already has a Barry Sanders. Yeah, I don't have a chip. Our Dutch item, by the way, is already at its rock bottom price, 220 bucks. You want to snatch it up. Good luck. We're pumped. We're pumped. You have been on fire today. I have been on fire today. Or Matt's been on fire. We've both been on fire. I've been pulling. Matt's been winning. Matt and I have been a, a great duo today. All right. Throw the randomizer up. We're going nine times on the dice roll, Stephen. Nine times. Really want to get these Brady's moving. I guys told you this Brady series is closed on Christmas Eve. No matter what. No Brady. No Brady heads. We are done with this series on Christmas Eve, regardless. That's Friday. Time is running out. All right, Colton, you're in the NFC North. That's Barry Sanders and Devontae Adams. Matthew Kerr, you're in the NFC South and NFC East. NFC East has what? John Riggins, I believe, out there. NFC West, James Strode. Marshall Falk is out there. AFC North, Colton Bicker. Larry Rosslin in the AFC South. Matthew Kerr. Has the AFC East. He's been hot. Could Tom Brady be coming out? And also, Dan Marino's in there. 
Michael Walker has the AFC West. Here we go. Here we go. It's it's been a hot day, guys. I always want you to play, but if you're gonna play, this is the day to play. I know we have some 49er fans that would like this hit. How about Roger Craig, number 33? Three-time Super Bowl champ, Roger Craig, 49ers, a running back, four-time Pro Bowler, 1,502 rushing yards in 88, led the NFL in receiving catches, 1985. Uh, he's got that 1,000, 1,085. I'm guessing that's 1,000 receiving yards and 1,000 rushing yards for Roger Craig. One of the best running backs. This is a 49ers flash helmet. This is an NFC West hit. That is James Strode. All right, James. James is, is the guy who says, I've been hot today. Here's the win, James. Roger Craig. Very nice. Roger Craig. Get me that Brady, says Matthew Kerr. Maybe next time, Matthew. Maybe next time. We have to not get a headliner hit. I mean, we can't get all headliner hits. There's my streak, but still a great day. Okay, well, hey, maybe the next one. You can't win them all. 76960, Craig. All right, James, congratulations. Roger Craig, one of the best running backs back in the day for the 49ers on a flash helmet, too. Beautiful. How are we looking, Steven? Are we close on anything? Uh, doesn't bode well for that. Doesn't bode well for that statement. Guys, hop in now. Hop in and keep the day going. Wide open on the break page. Steven says, we're not close. Prove Steven wrong and let's get close. Bob says, Matt McNabb for Fields is also a no, question mark. One thirty-four is the time. All right, guys, let's see. Let's see where we're looking on the break page right now. We have six slots left in New Year football. Seven slots left in Naughty or Nice. Eight slots in Brady. Eight slots in Jay Jettas. Eight slots in Beater Box. And eight slots in Breezy Does It. Now 135. Okay, last time I gave you guys an eight-minute deadline. We filled up a break. We'll stay with eight. It's my lucky number. I've been making good pulls. It's now 135. We'll stay on to 143. We just had an order a couple minutes ago. So we'll stay on to 143, guys. We get close to filling up a break, we'll stay on longer. But if we don't get any orders in the next eight minutes, uh, that'll be the show for the afternoon. So hop in the break page. I'm hitting you with an eight-minute deadline, my favorite number, eight. Uh, and we'll see where we're at in eight minutes. Are you talking about in the Brady Authentic series, Matt Menard? This is, is this the helmet you're talking about, Matt? The Barry Sanders. I can tell you guys this, the Marshall Falk helmet is a Lunar Speed helmet, uh, as is the DK Metcalf. I did pull the Sean Alexander, the only headliner that's gone. Uh, we have a Marshall Falk Speed Lunar helmet, a DK Metcalf Speed Lunar helmet, a Devontae Adams Eclipse, then we have Dan Marino, or excuse me, Devontae Adams Camo, Dan Marino Eclipse in that series. Uh, those are the headliners in the very Brady. We've only pulled one headliner in that series. Falk and DK are Lunar Flex, says Matt, Matt Salas. All right, excuse me about that. Matt, Matt Salas knows Lunar Flex. Uh, so Lunar Flex. Uh, Bob says the Sanders looks like a pro line authentic, the type he played with. Okay. It's pretty cool. Barry Sanders looks pretty cool. 
Thanks, says Matt Menard. Anyone wanting to trade, hit me up on Facebook. All right, Matthew. Hit him up. He's got all the items today. He's been the big winner. I'm going to go through our live break sheet and, and tell you guys uh, some of the stuff we've been pulling. Because uh, we've, we've had a hot show today. Give you guys an example of, of some of the pulls we've had today. We had Donovan McNabb to start the show for Mr. Michael Walker, full-size authentic. Uh, then we had Drew Brees, full-size authentic for Mr. Matthew Kerr. We had Michael Irvin, full-size authentic for Michael Laprie. And then we had, let's see, then we had uh, Taylor. That was uh, Taylor on the Dolphins, Jason Taylor. That was a flash helmet, also full-size authentic. So pretty good, pretty good day of hits. Uh, we've been moving. We've been grooving. Bob, I don't think he can see your message, unfortunately. We have Justin Maybe Fields coming out out of Matthew Kerr as well. Okay, Mr. Matthew Kerr, you are on Facebook. Bob is not on Facebook. Matthew, I've offered the McNabb for Fields, but you haven't given me an answer. I'm not on Facebook. Uh, Bob, if you want to drop your email, and I can read off your email to Matthew Kerr, or this email doesn't show up through Twitch, does uh, it? He knows the way to He knows the way to do it. Matthew Kerr, um, Bob is not on Facebook. He's offering... A Donovan McNabb Authentic for that Fields Authentic. Fields Flash. Uh, so absolutely. Uh, so much fire coming in today, guys. If you guys want to keep the fire going, hop to the break page and fill up some, some breaks. I know quite a bit of you guys are still here. Um, This will be the time. What if James Kilborn bought something? Just a spot in the break. All right, James Kilborn got a spot in the Brady. Matt, Matt Menard, he got four spots in the Brady. Sweet. We are closing in on the next Brady break. Let's get that bad boy done. This is our Dutch item today. It is Mike Allstock. This is a full-size replica Eclipse helmet. This is really, really nice. This is a six-time Pro Bowler. A Super Bowl champ, one of the best fullbacks in the game, my favorite player in Madden. I used to always draft him for my Madden team. I was super pumped to show off this Dutch today, Steven. I've never been more pumped for a Dutch than Mike Allstott. So this is the Dutch item. Uh, I'll look into it. Give him my email. Uh, Bob, that email is hunkaauto22 at gmail.com. You know what I'm going to do? I see it. Bob sees it in the stream. Bob will send you an email. Uh, you guys coordinate the details on that McNabb and Fields amongst yourself. I'm glad we can get that conversation going. And and we have a trade going down. Michael Laprie is trading Irvin uh, for Mercury. I believe that's Mercury Morris. So a lot of good trades going down today, guys. Uh, always excited uh, to see the trades. We have, let's see, how are we looking? We have three slots left in the next Brady Authentic, guys. Three slots to go. You get a chance for a full-size Authentic in that series, as well as a chance for a Brady head, which would get you a chance to be in our top spot drawing on Christmas Eve to win a free Brady item. You also get a chance for the Advent Calendar spin, or the wheel spin, rather, double the UA Cash or the Advent Calendar item. So three different things to incentivize you to buy into the Brady. I'll give you a fourth. Uh, we are going to do the Brady heads on Christmas Eve, regardless of whether that series is sold out. In fact, my bosses today even told me uh, that we're going we're gonna to actually go ahead and drop that Brady back into inventory if we don't sell the Brady helmet in that series. Uh, roughly, I want to say, let's see, uh, our board had 40 Brady helmets uh, coming into today's show. We've done two breaks. So that means there's now 38 helmets left in the series. 38 helmets. Uh, we've pulled one headliner in that series. And we have, what, three, five, eight headliners. So seven out of 38. Basically, you got yourself roughly a 20% chance of hitting a headliner in that series, the Brady Authentics. 
So now would be the time to hop in, guys. Two slots left now. Uh, so we'll stay on. We'll get this break filled up. Two slots left. And then we'll see where we're sitting at after that one fills up. Even while we wait to fill that up, I will ask you this question one more time. Favorite hit of the day today? Also for the chat, since we had Troy Aikman go, Michael Irvin, DK Metcalf, Drew Brees. What is the best hit today uh, for you guys on, in our show? Hit of the day. Neil Smith jersey. Neil Smith jersey. Steven's going with Neil Smith. Underrated hit of the day. Underrated hit of the day. 100 sack club man, Mr. Smith. Um, we'll get your thoughts on a couple games this week, Steven. Uh, what do you think about the Colts Cardinals? The Colts coming off a huge win over the Patriots. The Cardinals back-to-back -back losses, including a loss to the Lions. Where is it at? Cardinals are one-point favorite at home. They're at the Cardinals are at home. Yes, but get this, Stephen. The Cardinals are three and three at home and seven and one on the road. So they've struggled at home this year. Yeah, uh, I like the Colts in that game. You like the Colts? Mm -hmm. Cardinals. Psh, says Matt Menard. Yeah, that's right. Matt Menard's Lions took down the Cardinals. I think thirty to twelve. That was that was a beatdown. Who would have thought the last place Lions at the time would pound uh, what was, I believe, the Cardinals were tied for the best record in the league going into that game. Mm -hmm. That was that was a crazy game. Crazy, crazy game. It's any given Sunday or any given Monday, any given Tuesday, any given Thursday. We're playing almost all days of the week this week. Uh, that game, by the way, is on a Saturday. We have Saturday football on Christmas. I uh, just got my Christmas shopping done yesterday, Stephen. The tons of last minute shopping. It was a busy day. It was thankfully it was my off day from work. Didn't feel like an off day. I did tons of tons of shopping. Uh, Bengals and Ravens, both eight and six, tied atop the AFC North. What do you who do we like in the Bengals Ravens game? Uh I am going to depends on if Lamar's playing or not. Depends on if Lamar's playing. Matthew Kerr filled it. All right, Matthew. We'll get ripping on that as soon as Steven finalizes that list. Three Saturday ones this week, COVID pending. They were missing Kyler and D-Hop for several games. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins didn't play against the Lions, but Kyler Murray did play. And in fact, those four losses the Cardinals have, three of them Kyler Murray did play in. They actually only had one loss without Colt McCoy. So, good deal. All right, it's ready for you. All right, it's ready. Brady Helmets number four. We've got a whole bunch of Matthews in here, Matthew Menard and Matthew Kerr, as well as James Kilborn and Larry Rossland. I know the two Matts, both are great at picking box numbers, if you guys can get us one, or Larry or James. Uh, we have, let's see, Brady Helmets, 3, 4, 10, and 15. We typically have five box numbers. I'll add one more if you guys want to keep it, keep it interesting. 21. 21 will go up as well uh, on the Brady Helmets. Give you five choices there. Uh, plenty of box number choices. Oh, let's do it. 21 then. Okay, Matt Menard is looking for the new box number. Okay. 21 is going off the ticker. We bring them in in chronological order. I think we somehow skipped like 18 and 19 or something. So I got to bring those in. Uh, but 21 is what we're calling here. This is what our fourth Brady today, Stephen? Yes. Fourth Brady. Good deal. I have to have at least five box numbers up at all times to give our customers a choice. I like to write down the box numbers we have. I've got my sticky notes here. I said, why not? Let's add one more. Brady number four. Brady number four. Busy day, busy day, Stephen. Yeah. Right, here we go. Brady number four. Randomized nine times for your divisions. 75% chance of Matthew wins. But which Matthew? And as we've said, all it takes is one spot to win. Larry Rosslin and James Kilborn could win as well. Actually, this is four customers who are some of our bigger customers all in here on the showdown. Matthew Menard, you are on the NFC North. Your guy Barry Sanders is out there in the NFC North. 
Matthew Kerr, you're in the NFC South. Matthew Menard, also in the NFC East. Matthew Kerr, NFC West. We got a whole bunch of headliners in the West, uh, including Marshall Falk. And then Box 21, as I showed you. AFC North is Matthew Menard. Uh, we have Larry Rosslin in the AFC South. Matthew Menard, AFC East. Division of Brady and Dan Marino. And James Kilborn out in the AFC West. Here we go. Only one headliner gone in this series, Stephen. A single headliner, only one Brady head gone. Whole bunch of fire yet to come in the Brady helmets. Let's see what we got here. Might as well keep the theme going for today. What's the theme been? This isn't not the theme of great hits and quarterbacks necessarily, but the theme of Cowboys hits. Randy White, Hall of Fame 94 for the Cowboys, Super Bowl champ, Super Bowl MVP, nine-time Pro Bowler, Pro and College Football Hall of Famer, one of the best defensive linemen, linebackers in the game. Randy White, that is an NFC East hit. Matthew Menard, Randy White, NFC East. Nice hit, Matt. The Manster, indeed. The Manster, Donnie says. White. Donnie, have you been paying attention to what we pulled today? No. Let me give you a rundown of what we pulled today. A Drew Brees, full-size authentic. Okay. Michael Irvin, full-size authentic. Troy Aikman, full-size authentic. Uh, Jason Taylor Flash, full-size authentic. DK Metcalf, full-size authentic. Uh, what else, Steven? Those are, those are the big ones. I'm some probably heat. missing something. Some heat. Some heat. Oh, Justin Fields, full-size authentic flash. Damn. Kramer. <laughs> jersey. Tommy Kramer. Tommy no, Kramer. Tommy he Kramer. Came. Neil My Smith favorite, as well. Though, Neil Smith jersey, though. Dude, you gotta love me. 100 plus sack club, correct, Common? 100 plus sack club. Underrated. Neil Smith. Uh, really hot day for the Naughty or Nice series. Right. Uh, we've been pulling a lot of... A lot of Full-size authentic did headliners. Did you say Troy Aikman? Did I say I... Troy Aikman? Yeah, did you say Troy Aikman? I don't know. I did say Troy Aikman. Okay, well, he's one of those guys, too. And Theisman. Joe Theisman. We pulled Joe Theisman. Donovan McNabb as well. Yeah, I know. That's what I figured this morning. So. I love that chocolate. You can call me, though. You can call me up to the big leagues. Get your arm ready. Yeah. Get their pen. Yeah. Steven! All right, so let's see, Steven. Uh, we are going to give you guys a last call on those orders because we are wide open on the break page. Again, we do have six left on the New Year football. Six slots remaining. Wide open on the rest. Your top spot chase list is ready. Top Whatever spot chase list is, list is ready. We'll give it five more minutes. 155. A last call, folks, for orders. We had to pull a non-incredible hit at some point, didn't we, Steven? I mean... We had to. And what goes up must go down. What goes down That only go means that that Brady series, though, Stephen, uh, the chances of headliners are only going up. Yeah, because you said there's only one. one hidden, uh, only, only pulled one, right? Only one. We have hidden headliners like Brian Urlacher in that series. Uh, also, Jerome Bettis. I'm going to actually go ahead and pull that series up one last time for you guys. Throw it on the randomizer. Look at the list of names. Uh, so, Tom Brady... Devontae Adams, Marshall Falk, John Riggins, DK Metcalf. Ron Alexander was pulled, but Dan Marino, Barry Sanders. None of those guys have been pulled. Jerome Bettis, Brian Erlacher, George Kittle, Mike Ditka, Jamal Lewis. Um, Jason Taylor was pulled in a different series. Uh, Justin Jefferson was pulled, but we have Brian Dawkins. Michael Vick, the Chris Johnson was pulled. Uh, but that's a list. That's a sick list. Are you kidding me? So we've had the hits we've had out of that series have been some of the worst hits. Uh, we just like Randy White. We just had Randy White and go. If you pull that quitty pay, I will personally give you a Michigan rookie quitty pay card. All right. Well, there you go. On top of that, there you go. So that's that series. Nick Bosa. So I didn't mention. Uh, so very few good hits are gone in that series, uh, or very few. Bad, all the bad hits are gone. The rest are almost exclusively good hits. Uh, so just keeping you guys informed on what's out there in that Brady series. Uh, we are going to finish that on Christmas Eve, no matter what happens. 
Uh, that's 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 what I got from the bosses. That's what they said in this morning's meeting. Don't think we'll have a problem though. I think I think people will see that uh, everything is pretty pretty wide open in that series. A lot of good hits coming. I don't think we'll have a problem uh, getting that done before Christmas Eve. So it's a matter of you just getting your spot now so you can reserve it and get the Brady. I don't even know what the head of the day is. I guess for me, it's got to be the Drew Brees, especially considering that in the New York Football Helmet Series, uh, that one was 30 bucks a slot. Uh, that's yeah, probably why the Brees yeah. is the head of the day. Uh, the Naughty or Nice is 40 bucks a spot, so still pretty good. Uh, you get those full-size authentics out of those series, uh, you know you're doing good. So We have a lot of comments today about the fire we've had in the room. No comments about the Randy White. Randy White is pretty good. Hall of Famer. No respect a lot of to Mr. Hall White. Of Famers. A lot of them are Hall of I Famers. Mean, Kramer. Is Kramer a Hall of Famer? I'm not sure that Kramer is. Theisman Fields, is, though. Fields, future Hall of Famer. Fields, okay, future gonna... Hall of Famer. Okay. I'm just going to make that statement. claim now. Make that claim now. Aikman, Hall of Famer. Theisman, I'm pretty sure. I think Theisman Thysman... get hurt? Theisman got hurt. I got hurt. Was that enough to do him out of the hall? Let's see. Let's take a look. Joe Theisman. College football Hall of Famer. That's a Hall of Fame. Anthony Carter, probably football, college football Hall of Fame. UA Cash, Hall of Fame. Jalen Johnson football, not quite yet in the Hall of Fame, but maybe one day, you never know. It's hard to get super hype after all the headliners today. It was a very good day today. It was indeed. I'm the only one here who can say they saw White play in person. Bob saw Randy White in person. What game was that, Bob? Uh, Randy White, was that back in the... 70s or 80s for you, Mr. Bob. Uh, and Michael Lepre saying, I have a Kuwaiti pay. He played with my ne nephew in high school. Okay. Cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, Joe Theismann, by the way, not a Hall of Famer, but I'd say he's not far off. If he didn't get hurt, I think he definitely would be in, in the Hall of Fame. Respect, Bob. The Maryland Syracuse game. Maryland at Syracuse. Okay. So Randy White went to Syracuse, I'm guessing that. Or Maryland. Or Maryland. Let's see, Randy White. I've got my notes down, all his accomplishments. I didn't really think to put his college down. Let's see, Randy White went to Maryland, actually. Randy was a Terp. Okay. He a Terp. Okay. Also in the 100 Sack Club. Yeah, 100 Sacks Club left and right. Nine-time Pro Bowler. Pro and College Football Hall of Famer. If you actually head to his Wikipedia page, take a look at that cowboy hat. That's pretty cool. Look at that. It's got the tattoos on the left and right. Randy White looks like a boss, man. He looks awesome. He's a member of the Delaware Sports Museum Hall of Fame, too. How about that? Don't laugh at Randy White. Randy White's a boss. Speaking of boss, guys, a couple more minutes. Uh, last, very last call for orders. Uh, we, let's see, we're wide open on the break page, as Steven said. Uh, you guys know the drill by now. Uh, if you got orders, everything carries over to, to the night show. We don't fill something up. Uh, this show, uh, for example, we have one slot taken in the next Naughty or Nice. We have two slots taken in the New Year football. Uh, those break orders carry over to the night show. Uh, giving you guys a last, last call here, about another minute or two. And if we don't get anything filled up or any orders coming in the next minute or two, we are going to our top spot chase. While we do the top spot chase, you guys fill out another break. Uh, we are happy to honor it. Uh, for you Dallas guys, I have a full-size Randy White Eclipse Authentic I'd trade. Okay. Isn't that what we literally just had, right? I think that's what we just had. We just pulled a full-size Randy White Eclipse Authentic. Or it was a lunar that we pulled, actually. So the eclipse is a little different uh, that Mr. Kerr has. Last call, guys. Get those orders in. Otherwise, we are calling it an afternoon. Uh, this is the time to hop on now. Uh, we get halfway there on something. I'll stay on a little longer and fill it. We are almost halfway there on New Year football. We have Stefan Diggs is out there. Trevor Lawrence on a slab. Saquon Barkley, Antonio Brown, a whole bunch of good headliners in that series. Um, last call for orders, though. Or if you'd rather have a pretty white one, let me know. So Matt Menard has the, the Lunar, the one we just pulled, 
and Matty Kerr has the Eclipse, the black one, uh, that he won probably in our break room at a later time. All right, Steven, let's head to the top spot, Chase. No orders coming in here in the last 10 minutes or so. No orders in the last 10, 15 minutes. Uh, let's head to the top spot, Chase. You guys fill up a break, fill up an order. We will stay on longer while we do this. So you guys will have at least a few more minutes to get some orders in. But we are going to head to our top spot, Chase. Our advent calendar pool or double the U8 cash. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. Top spot, Chase. Whole bunch of names. Should be 32 names, Steven. A great day in the room. Indeed, Matthew Kerr. It was a great day. It's been it's been a blast. The day could continue if you guys fill up some breaks. Uh, but otherwise, uh, this would have been the day. Uh, top spot. Gets a chance for an advent calendar pull or double the UA cash. 32 items in the list, as I said. They're going to go nine times on the randomizer uh, to see who is the top spot. What a day, Steven. Have yourself a day. Six, seven, eight. All right, one more. Nine times. Top spot is Colton Bicker. Colton, are you in here? Colton, let me know if you're in here. I uh, haven't seen Colton in the chat today. Um, so, Colton, we'll give you two minutes, 158. Two o'clock is the perfect time. We'll give Colton two minutes to hop in here and tell us uh, whether he wants this item, which is a Fred Warner signed football. Let me take the randomizer off. Fred Warner signed football. I'm going to get this football for you right now. Show it off to you. Fred Warner talented linebacker for the 49ers out of BYU, Brigham Young University. All right, here it is. This is it, 49ers. Matt Menard says, no response to go to next on the list. I think Matt Menard was probably second on the list, was he not? Uh, that's not what yep. I'm he was third, but he was the top two were all Colton. All right, so this is Fred Warner. Fred Warner signed football, San Francisco 49ers. Fred Warner, the talented linebacker for the 49ers. You can have a Fred Warner signed football. By the way, he's a 2020 Pro Bowler, first team all pro in 2020. First team all pro. Uh, so nearly 500 career tackles already. Not bad. First team all pro for a third round pick out of BYU. You'll take that. That's not bad. All right, it's now 159. And let's see. All right, so it's about to be 2 o'clock. All right, so Colton, you haven't responded. Here's the deal, Colton. You can buzzer beat me and respond. But what we decided, if the person in the chat does not respond, uh, they automatically get the item. So we'll give you about another 30 to 40 seconds, Colton, to buzzer beaters, to buzzer beat us, or for someone to get a last second buzzer beater order as well. We'll do a break if that happens. Uh, but otherwise, uh, that'll do it for the show. I'm going to show you guys the Dutch item one more second. This will be on probably for another five minutes or so. This is the Mike Allstott full-size replica Eclipse helmet. Mr. Mike Allstott, Super Bowl champ, six-time Pro Bowler, my favorite player in Madden. He was my fullback in Madden. Uh, 949 rush yards in 1999. He also had 10 rushing touchdowns in 2001. Uh, that was him and Warwick Dunn in the backfield. Warwick Dunn was the speedy running back. Mike Allstott was the beefy fullback. The Thunder and Lightning? The Thunder and Lightning back in the day. So that's the Dutch item. Uh, Colton, I'm going to write this up because you're getting Fred Warner. You are not in the chat. Uh, Fred Warner, hey, better better win than not win anything. And Fred Warner is a very talented linebacker. 76908, Warner, football. Cool. Advent calendar is gone uh, after this week. It is gone after Christmas Eve, I believe. Yep. We have no show on Christmas, guys. Christmas Eve, we've got a special show where we'll release our Tom Brady free item. Whoever gets that free item for Tom Brady, we'll find out on Christmas Eve, regardless of whether we pulled the Brady head, regardless of whether we pulled the Brady himself, we are doing the Christmas Eve 
special where you get the free Brady item. Uh, let's see. Let me head to the order page. Make sure we got no orders coming in. Uh, no orders coming in, Steven. I gave our wonderful customers plenty of time to get those in. But it's been a great day in the break room. Troy Aikman, Drew Brees, Michael Orvin, Justin Fields, DK Metcalf, full-size authentics. All pulled in the room today. Hopefully we pull some more tonight at 8 o'clock. Steven, you'll be back here tonight at 8, 8 o'clock. Uh, I've got a busy night playing my rec volleyball league, among other things, tonight. Uh, so I won't be back here, but Steven will be here. Uh, we'll see with who, but that's going to be a fun show. Uh, tonight at 7 o'clock Central Time, we're on 12 and 7 Central Time weekdays, 2 and 8 Central Time weekends. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and congratulations on a great day in the break room. Autographs in the UA Live break room. If you had an awesome time, you can join us again every day. We are live breaking certified sports memorabilia at noon and 7 p.m. Central Time every weekday and 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. Central Time on the weekends. As a reminder, if you purchased a spot in a break that did not fill, your spot will transfer to the next UA Live Breaks broadcast. Lastly, if you earn UA cash today, the funds will be added to your account in 24 hours. Thanks again for breaking with Ultimate Autographs. We hope to see you again soon.